the Inn, celebrating 20 years of sheltering homeless women and families. We're simple, trusting women who believe that even in an ordinary day, in an ordinary life, we can make a difference. Car three. We never, ever, no matter what, we won't give up. When they've given up on themselves, we won't give up. When they get angry, we won't give up. When they want to leave, we're not giving up. This is what we do. This is what God has us to do. And we do it with joy. We do it with compassion. We do it with gusto. And the hand up comes from the staff and nightside volunteers. Every night, clients go to a different congregation where they find a good meal, a clean, safe place to sleep, and plenty of love and support. Well, the mission of Room at the Inn, I think, for me, has always been to help those who are less fortunate. But Jesus said in Matthew 25, because you've helped these people, you have helped me. It's a simple thing to come to your own church and do the mission work right here. It's, it's, it, it's a very satisfying feeling about being a part of it. More than 50 interfaith congregations representing 15 faith traditions participate in Room at the Inn's night sight program. While most of the volunteers are adults, many bring their children along with them, teaching the next generation about the importance of helping the homeless. And then we're going to have a total of four mattresses and we're going to make their beds. Okay. okay. Oh, so that they have a nice, warm, dry place to sleep. They understand that it could happen to anybody. They understand that it could be their neighbor, their, a school teacher they had. It could be anybody. The children like helping and enjoy making their guests' time with them special. Because God likes it. Because I like to make people happy. I like to help you because homeless people are just like us. The fellowship has a significant impact on the guests. I think we are planting seeds that, that hopefully um, will, will be imbibed by them so that they can kind of pay it forward, that down the road they're able maybe to be a beacon of hope for someone else or be a sign of compassion to someone because they've been there and they say, I know how that feels. And so what, you know, what can I do to help you? If, if that happens, then I think, yes, we've been very successful.